Well, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come to install some quick covers onto the good old Dirty Max. But we're gonna we're gonna do it a little different way. So let's get the truck inside the shop and uh, start telling you what we're gonna be doing here. It's not gonna be the, the the right way. It's gonna be the wrong way. So the very first thing we need to do is we need to we're gonna keep it outside here. Uh, the good old Dirty Max here. Um, we're gonna get the air gun out, my long ass air gun. I'll show you this long ass air gun here. Ha <laughs> ha, this guy right here, we're gonna get this long ass air gun out, get the air hose out of here. Maybe back the truck up a little bit. We're gonna blow all the rocks, rust, and debris out of the rockers. And we're gonna probably take some flaps, black spray paint and spray paint the rust. So it kind of stops rust. And we're probably gonna take off some of the rust that's broken get that out of the way and then spray paint i was planning on doing this the right way and cutting the rust out and getting the rockers painted and all that jazz but i'm going to be honest with you guys black plastic is probably going to look 10 times better on this truck than the rust holes that are in it currently and i'm sick of waiting and and hoping i can get these things painted and and just you know doing it the right way to be honest doing it the right correct way and I know a lot of you guys out there probably don't have the means of professionally getting your rocker painted and, you know, going and cutting all the rust out. And I mean, some of you guys might take the time to do that, but I don't got the time to do that. And I just want these damn things on the truck because I want to see them on the truck. I've had them for months and they're not on the truck yet. So I'm going to take a little bit of time and, and I'm going to put them on and they're going to be a quick job. It's going to be an, probably an hour to put these things on, to be honest. Obviously, the video is going to be like 15 minutes, but you know 15 or so minutes but uh yeah guys I'm, I'm over i'm over it it'll probably take me about an hour to put this all together we're gonna put it together and we're gonna see what it looks like it should look pretty wicked so stay to the end of the video and uh enjoy but other than that guys welcome to the channel all righty let's uh oh yeah oh yeah Get all the disgusting stuff out of here. All them rocks around here. Let's, let's finish this up and get the other side. How's a lot of blowing, guys? Woo! A lot of blowing. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get my little dikes here. Hopefully YouTube doesn't demonetize me for calling them dikes, because that's what they are, YouTube. <sighs> but here you go, guys. That's all the junk that came out of this side. And I started tearing some off of here, like this is all, that's all bad. I mean, there's still some in there, but we're gonna we're gonna get some of this out of here because we don't need any of that right there. And get that out of there, that out of there. Some of this rust that definitely does not belong can leave, as you can see. Knock some of it out of here. This is this side's really really bad compared to the other side. So we're gonna knock this off and then we'll go on the other side. And yeah, look at that. Oh my God. Come on, baby. Look at that. Just right there. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and clean most of this up. We're gonna get the most of the loose, loose pieces off of this, uh, off these rockers here real quick. There's not a lot over here, but you can see how much came out of the rockers. Dirt, rust, rocks. We're gonna clean this up a little bit. And then the next step is a rust inhibitor, which I think I have some. I think I have some. I think I have some in my little chest thing over here. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure I've got 
some aerosol can of rust inhibitor around here. It's in here somewhere. I know I have it. I just got to find it and use it. So we're going to spray. Oh, was that it? Ah, uh, no, that's enamel. That's enamel. Okay. Well, I'm going to find it. It's in here. We're going to go ahead and um, spray down a coat of rust inhibitor. Let that dry. That's going to help stop any future rust from coming in out you know, underneath those rockers panels that I'm putting down, the OEM, OEM ones. And then we're gonna spray paint the rockers black and cover it as much black as possible. Either we're gonna use, uh, that stuff might be too thick, but I, I do have black undercoat spray paint, which isn't bad. Maybe I'll use some of this to, uh, oh, here's my rust fix right there. And I think it sprays black too, doesn't it? Does it spray black? Let's find out. Not clear, okay, whatever. Clear it is. Let's uh, let's get rolling. All right. So we got the rust inhibitor sprayed on here. Pretty good. Soaking that down. Go ahead and look at the other side here. I've used this rust inhibitor before. It's good stuff. And I also sprayed it on the door. It goes with color too. You can put it on color. It'll. I think it dries flat, like or not flat, but like with the paint. So you can spray it on the paint. It doesn't look glossy. But uh, sprayed it all down. Let it dry. And then it's time for black paint. Alrighty guys, we got a coat of black spray paint on, on here. Doesn't look the best, but it's definitely going to do the job. Like I said, this is going to be covered up with the quick rockers anyways. So I just wanted to spray it so it kind of helped to stop the rust um, that's already kind of happening here. Um, show you the picture of the other side too. This is just regular black spray paint, nothing crazy. But I got the rust inhibitor underneath of it, which is nice. And there's the other side. This side's a lot worse. But we got some nice black spray paint on there. Hopefully that helps uh, prevent too much future rust underneath these rockers in the future. But I'm sure after these rockers are on, these quick covers, this thing's going to look amazing. I'm excited. I hope you guys too. We're going to let this thing dry for about a half an hour, do some work in the shop. And uh, then we're going to bring it in and we're going to install these things. It's not going to be that hard. Some tape, some drilling, and that's about it. Alrighty. So now that we have the truck inside the shop here, there's a few things we got to do. Like we got to take this striker off. We got to pull this here, this plastic up out of here so we can get the um, weather stripping out and out of the way because that's got to be gone in order to put these rockers in. Um, and this plastic piece right here that just gets pried up and popped out. That's the only three pieces that really need to come out of here that I know of. So let's go ahead and get all that torn apart and then I'll move on to the next step, guys. I'm not gonna turn this camera around and show you, but I drilled the holes for the strikers onto the quick covers and I um, test fitted them. I got the passenger side in right now and I'm not gonna lie to you, wow freaking well i might not even have to paint these things to be honest because they mesh so good with the green now it might be a little different in the sunlight um so i might end up changing my mind but inside the shop here it looks dark enough that you can't even tell to a point that these rockers are plastic for the most part um i will say these things test fit wise are freaking amazing like they fit like they fit so close and so clean that I do highly recommend this for any of you Chevy, Dodge, Ford guys that have rusted rockers and cab corners. If you don't want to spend two, three, four thousand dollars fixing them and putting new rockers and cab corners on, this here, I'm not gonna lie, this is the bee's freaking knees here, guys. This is amazing what this looks like. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and put the double-sided tape on and get these things mounted, put the strikers back in and all that stuff and uh, show you what we got here. But I just want to come in here real quick and tell you these things are, I'm impressed. I'm impressed guys. Now the reason you want to test fit everything after you drill, let's get this up here. After you drill your holes in to your uh, plastic rocker covers here is because you want to make sure that everything lines up with these two bolts here and these two bolts here. You wanna make sure it all lines up correctly and you're not gonna have any issues. Um, the other biggest thing that you need to do is you need to take uh, alcohol or they do supply alcohol swabs, as you can see right here, alcohol prep swabs. 
to um, wipe down everywhere that this is going to touch with the double-sided tape. So every single spot here, like up in here, see all that dirt? You want to wipe that all down. Um, especially, 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 huh, interesting, okay. Especially right here. Um, because up in here is where the top piece of this guy goes right there and in the back and the, and the bottom. So you definitely 100% want to get in here as much as possible along this route and in here and clean this up as good as you can because that is more detrimental because that's where it's going to be seen the most and you don't want it separating because once it separates here it could be leaking water down in here again and it's going to just rust out your rockers again or even more than what they already are honestly so you want to make sure this makes a good seal front side and back down the bottom um in order to put these rocker covers on and make sure they don't you know leak water in or anything of that nature and stick extremely close to the body and i'm going to tell you right now by what I've seen, these stick very, very close to the body. So they, they literally dip right underneath this curve here on the Chevys, the GMCs. So it's it's hard to tell um, if you have these aftermarket rockers on this thing, to be honest. So we're going to go ahead and take some micro swabs. We're going to wipe this all down real nice. We're going to spray it with some brake clean, too. And we're going to clean all of this up here because it needs double-sided tape along here as well. We're going to clean all of that up as well. And then we're going to be ready to put, well, that one on. And here's the other one inside the truck we're going to put that one on as well so let's make it happen cap it one of the next steps here is clean everything off with alcohol swabs which i did that's all nice and clean and the instructions that tells you where to put this two-sided tape now i will tell you this this two-sided tape is stupid stupid sticky like it is dumb dumb sticky to be honest um and i'm kind of questioning some things right now of what i should do and i'm debating on taking the rear doors off to get a proper fit because without the rear doors off you got to squeeze these rockers up in there with that two-sided tape touching which can be a bitch to be honest so i'm kind of thinking about um pulling both my rear doors off it's just a clip the doors ain't that heavy i've got some wiring here which ain't that bad i think i think i might just do that might just do that guys to be honest I think it's going to be easier and safer, to be honest, to do it that way. That way I don't mess it up because if I mess this up back here and these things stick and they don't stick right, I'm screwed. Like, because once they, I, I had a buddy of mine tell me he puts these on trucks all the time, these, uh, these uh, covers, and he even told me, he's like, once that tape sticks, it sticks. You ain't ever getting it back off again. So I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to take the doors off. Highly suggest taking the doors off. Super, super easy. You got two bolts here, your plastic. And then uh, I hardwired these beautiful Pioneer speakers in years ago. And I just cut them. I'm going to rewire them again. And then pull your harness out. Take your clip out of here. Take your bolt out of here. And these doors literally, like I just, I just took the other side off by myself. I'm going to show you how easy it is. Super freaking easy, guys. Check this out. Okay, well, maybe this one's calling me a liar. It must be stuck. It probably needs a little help. <laughs> the other one came off just fine. This one, uh, this one's a little tight, I guess. We're going to go in here and uh, loosen around the head. Super simple. Super simple. And the best part is, look at that room that you have now. That's, to me, that's that's well worth two minutes to take a door off. <laughs> Anyways, to me, that's well worth it. Look at the other side. Look at that. Now these quick covers, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit more now that I have more access to it. These quick covers are literally gonna slide right in place and I don't have to worry about anything. It's gonna be freaking amazing. Let's get the sticker uh, tape on and let's get these things on so you can finally see what they look like. They're gonna be freaking amazing, guys. All right, guys, the moment of truth. 
We have all of our sticky tape everywhere the instructions say, to, say it needs to be. Um, it's all down here. I got all my red tape off. It's all in here. It's all around in the inside here. It's, it's a lot, but they give you they give you a lot of it, so you have extra, hopefully. We'll find out on the next one when I do the other side. We'll see how much extra I have left. But uh, the moment of truth, everything's cleaned up. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna put this camera right up on, on here like so. And we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do it, guys. We're gonna, we're gonna put it on. Hopefully it's everything it's supposed to be. And then some. All right, guys, here we go. So the nice thing is we can just kind of put this like this. Oh, I can feel it sticking already. Shit, shit, shit. It is sticky, guys. Be very wary. It is very, very sticky tape. Definitely. Ooh, this is gonna be spicy. This is gonna be spicy, guys. Oh. Oh. It is spicy, guys. Holy shit. I don't know how I'm gonna get that on there. That is fucking spicy. honest I was a little scared I was a little scared that's that two-sided tape is stupid stupid sticky guys like I mean dumb sticky that that tape is so sticky it's not even funny that was sketchy that sketched me out a little bit not gonna lie that sketched me out a little bit but she's on there we got one the other side to do but she is on there guys look at that tight ass fit you guys can see how tight it is like it is up against there pretty good man that looks good okay let's get the other side taped up get that on so we can put these doors back together and show you the final product of what this all looks like out in the sunlight after it's done so we're going to go ahead and do the other side put doors on put the everything back together and then we're going to pull it outside but beware that tape is no joke. Like it's, dude, this is not coming off here ever again. If it does, it's gonna not have a good time. I can tell you that, but it is on there. Like that tape is so sticky. That was scared me a little bit, especially in here. You just gotta kind of just put it on and hope for the best. But there she is. One rocker is done. One quick cover rocker is done, guys. Um, we got some riveting to do underneath, but that's nor here nor there. That's easy stuff. We're going to finish this all up, get it done. Like I said, get it outside, talk about it. The truck is completely back together. Everything's done on it. I wish I could show you, but I'm, I'm going to pull the truck out. That way you guys can see everything. It looks so good with these uh, covers on. It's just, it's unbelievable. Here we go, guys. Let's uh, place the camera up on here somewhere. <laughs> that out guys that is freaking crazy now you are supposed to paint these covers before you put them on i will tell you that you are supposed to paint them you're not supposed to put them on because they will like fade and stuff because they have no re no uv protection on these things whatsoever let's take a, a look at the other side but they almost look like they're freaking stock check 
that out. That is crazy how nice they fit in there. They fit in there so, so nice. And as you can see, they come all the way up into here. And you can see some of that tape back there. They come all the way up into here. So it's very protected from any weather or water getting down there. Plus the two-sided tape definitely helps as well. Let's open up the door here. You guys can see the inside of the rocker or the top part of the rocker right there. But it comes all the way up into here where it seals up really nice. That two-sided tape is very, very sticky. I cannot emphasize enough how much you need to be careful with that two-sided tape. Got two-sided tape down here as well. And it's in there. I mean, they're, they're plastic. They're not going to be strong or anything, but they're definitely made of plastic. That's for sure. You can see my rivets down here that I put in all the way down the side to keep the bottom up same on this side here see all the rivets down the side I think this piece right here I could be wrong I think this piece was supposed to shove up in here possibly maybe I messed up a little bit I don't know but uh oh well I'm okay with that maybe it needed a little bit of trimming maybe you could trim it up a little bit I have a funny feeling that's supposed to go up inside the fender here uh but I didn't do that I was kind of rushing it to get it done and um Maybe, I, maybe that's the way it's supposed to be, I don't know, but I didn't do it that way. But this is the passenger side. That way you guys can see how nice it looks. The top part of these go up inside the weather stripping here. So nothing, no water can get down inside like so, you know what I mean? Man, look at that. Tell you what, for around 500 bucks or so 600 bucks this is definitely a very good investment guys um i highly recommend it highly recommend it let's get a three quarter shot of the truck <sighs> look at that that that's just freaking amazing and what a world of difference that those rockers make what a world of freaking difference that those rockers make with this truck that is crazy like it looks like a clean truck like it looks like there was never any rust there in the first place if you didn't even if you didn't know and the nice thing about it is with this dark green color the black really kind of fades into it so unless you're up you know up close and personal you you honestly don't even know that there's rockers on this thing you just think everything's nice and clean again still you know what i mean you can't even tell it's crazy i am eventually just going to take my truck to my buddy and just have him spray bomb this or maybe what i'll do is i'll get some spray paint myself and tape this all off and tape that all off and just spray bomb spray bomb it a little bit um i'm not really too concerned about it to be honest either that or maybe i'll clear it i don't care if it's black it looks good i'm happy with it um it doesn't need to be like immaculate the truck's not immaculate it's got dents and bruises all over it anyways but man if you guys are looking for rocker replacement cab corner replacements and like i said in the beginning of the video you don't want to spend two three four thousand dollars to do it these are the way to go these uh quick covers are 110 percent the way to go and it literally took me i would say an hour maybe an hour and a half to clean everything up paint everything and install these on here properly um i'm extremely extremely freaking happy with these things guys go check them out go check them out link will be in the description below if you want to check these guys out uh but man what a difference what a difference well guys that's it nice little video about putting these freaking quick covers on it turned out amazing i'm super duper freaking happy that i did it and took a little bit of time to to get them out of here and get them on the truck looks a million times better even from that angle the truck looks a million times better i just can't stop looking at it guys the good old dirty max looking sexy as usual now you won't see that rust anymore i'm very happy about that but other than that guys we're going to end this video i hope you all have a great freaking day don't get that don't forget don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell put it on all and go follow me over on instagram at diablo formula racing where you will see before and after pictures of the duramax which are going to be astonishing. You're going to love the before and after pictures of this truck with these quick covers on. So go check that out. Give it a like, give it a follow, and go check out OAM quick covers as well. Um, if you need covers, they're the way to go if you want to not spend a whole bunch of money. So other than that, guys, 
deuces.